everyone. Welcome to week six of our class. So this week we have um, our chapter on contribution. So be having watch, reading the uh, text on it and watching the lecture. And then you also will be watching the second part to the video removed and then responding to the discussion board post um, related to those items as well as um, responding to two peers posts. And then um, wanted to go over week seven real quick as you have your presentation due here the 23rd and so this is the final piece to your project and so I wanted to re-review -re that uh, part of the project for you guys so it's fresh in your brains um, and then um, we'll go from there and I actually wanted to point out as well so how we're doing this since it's a fully online class right you're uploading your PowerPoints with like a voice over, which you can do right in PowerPoint now. Um, and you're uploading it to a discussion board post and that's where you will be um, able to submit yours and then watch peers. And so in the week eight, um, that's where you're watching your peers presentations and then commenting on them. So that's, that's week eight that you're doing that. Week seven is where you're, you're submitting yours. Okay, so I'm going to go over the assignment with you guys real quick. So the objective of this part of the project is to share what you gathered in your research on the two life skills and um, then as well as application of those life skills um, that other your peers can also be using um, in the classroom. So you are creating the PowerPoint, as mentioned, and doing the voiceover, and you're re responding to the prompts below. So a summary of the research you had learned covering the two life skills selected. So there's one slide for each life skill. We already really know the topics um, or like the definition. So no need to review definitions of, let's say, attachment. Um, more so, like what, what new information did you gather um, in your research? So please share that with the class. Because even if we researched the same life skills, we most likely uh, focused on different literature. Um, and then you will be covering how the two life skills relate to the California Preschool Learning Foundations under the social emotional domain. Now remember, the link to those is under our required texts. And that is right here. So that is our page two of our syllabus um, right here is the link. So you can just go there and then the book is available free for you online. And then uh, once we cover this piece, we go into the application of the two life skills. So one application should cover the classroom environment. So let's say you're going over, um, you utilize a calming corner space. And so that would be focusing on the classroom environment specifically, um, not an actual like activity, let's say, right? So for example, how would you modify the area or the environment to meet the needs of a TK uh, kiddo um, to further develop um, the attachment life skill, okay? So then your second activity, so it's basically one application for each life skill. And then so one needs to be covering the environment and then the other one would be like an activity. And so um, that could be, you know, one that you've learned about in your book, one that you have done in your classroom, one that you've heard about and you would like to. And so this is the space that you're really teaching us. So I know it says a peer demonstration. So let's say if we were in person, you'd be demonstrating um, the activity at hand. Um, and so really in the presentation, what you're doing is you are uh, sharing with us resources and, and different activities, you know, that you guys want to try or you have tried. And sh so you can put links, um, you know, to different, you know, activities or, you, or videos to share, um, really whatever makes it useful and helpful for your peers to learn from and, and to also like have as a, uh, have as a toolbox for the future. Um, so, um, a tip is including photographs, 
of the area or activity, and then the photographs um, can be original, so they can be ones you've taken, or they can be from the internet, and you can also include short video clips. And so I will be uploading a PowerPoint presentation that a, a, from a TK um, person, or from a TK class from last semester for you guys. So there's no really like, hey, it needs to be five minutes. Hey, it needs to be 20 minutes. There's no specific time limit. Or I would just say as long as you cover these items, um, that is what suffices, you know, in terms of your presentation. So I would say 20 minutes is most likely too long. Um, five minutes could possibly cover it, but it also might be vague or not detailed. So it really kind of just depends. And uh question I get a lot is, can I cover more activities? Yes, uh, especially if they're very short activity. It's a short activity um, you want to share about. Maybe you do want to share a couple. It's entirely up to you, but but what is required is two. Um, one on the classroom environment and one being an activity. Um, so that is it for our presentation. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks, guys.